Hello there, peoples of YouTube. Um, I've recently received uh, a small request from someone to make a tutorial video on how to make Phoenix Wrong videos. Um, and since I've made a few, I'd like to think I have some experience in doing it. And also, there are none on YouTube currently. So, since it's fairly simple to do, I decided why not? Um, so just as a bit of background, Phoenix Wrong videos are essentially spoofs of the popular Phoenix Wright video game. Essentially, you use sprites and backgrounds and animations from the game, and you add, uh, you edit them together into funny video, into funny clips uh, that sometimes may reference the game or just include jokes and stuff. It's it's really up to you to do whatever you want with it. Um, so the very first thing you need to do is get the sprites for the game, uh, and those are most easily available on CourtRecords.net. It's a uh, it's a fan website for the for the whole series of games, and they have a very very good uh, database, pretty much of all the sprites and backgrounds and even sounds and small animations from the game you can get everything from here I've only I've already done that a long time ago but I'll show you guys so you go into media where they have everything and as you see they have screenshots animations official arts um, what's most important is right here uh, the animations are the sprites of the game and it's also very important to have the locations which are the backgrounds uh, which I mean if you're gonna use them in your videos it's nice to have backgrounds. So when you go into uh, the um, animations, you have the different games listed up here. See, right now it's set to the very first original Phoenix Wright game, so you have the characters from there. Uh, here you have um, from some other games, Trials and Tribulations, the Apollo Justice games, and the two Miles, at, uh, the two other games, the new ones, the Investigations. Um, when you go to get them, uh, they offer them in many different kinds of forms for you to get them. I find it's best to get uh, zips. Uh, they have uh, right here. They have a zip, and recently they've added HD zips, which are some new. Uh, they basically somehow brought the, <laughs> the textures into uh, high definition. It's pretty impressive, but I've never used them. I, I just noticed that today. But anyway, you get the zip as soon as you click on it. It it gets you a direct download for it. Um, you download it wherever you want it. See, I already downloaded, for example, today uh, the HD Judge Sprites. And inside you have just a single folder, so you can just extract it right away. And essentially they're going to they're gonna come uh, with a bunch of GIF animations with transparent backgrounds. These are the new HD ones, but the old ones look more like this. They're, they're smaller and, uh, of course, you know, they're not HD. But but still, when you extract the uh, the zip, that's what you get. You get a single folder with a bunch of uh, GIF animations inside. Then you have the locations, uh, which uh, they have by default. When you click the locations, they show you the locations of all of the uh, Phoenix Wright games, and then from here you can pick the Apollo Justice ones and the ones from the Miles Edgeworth Investigation games. And they're, they're going to give you all of the files. Uh, but you're gonna have to download them separately. You just click on the picture and you just save it. Um, they, I haven't seen anywhere here they offer them as total downloads. Or you can maybe get them, yeah, you can maybe you can download the whole thing. Anyway, so these are just the source files, uh, because this is what you're gonna use in your video editing. Now, a lot of people, they don't have, um, a good video editing program because what Windows 7 comes with is Windows Live Movie Maker, which is pretty much useless for this. And what's a little bit better is the original Windows Movie Maker, uh, which you can find uh, the newest version is the one I have here, which is from actually it's from Vista, because Windows 7, as I said, doesn't come with Windows Movie Maker. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description for this one, but essentially even this program doesn't actually... Um, really do the trick as far as making good uh, Phoenix Wrong videos goes. Because what happens is you can have your texture, uh, your 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 sprite or whatever, but it doesn't give you the ability to have separate layers. 
So even though this has a transparent background, it you can't have any other background. Um, you, you can't put anything behind it. See, you can have either this or that, and even when you interlace them, all you have is just this fading of one to the other. So using this is actually fairly useless. There are some cheaper, um, some cheaper slash free video editing options out there. I haven't searched for them yet. I just use Sony Vegas. Uh, it's an extremely expensive program uh, to purchase legally. If you can get it for yourself somehow, then you should probably do that uh, through whatever means you find uh, ethically viable for yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, two things. First, uh, two things as far as using uh, Sony Vegas goes for this. First is something that I do, uh, which is I've created a base template for making uh, my Phoenix ROM clips. Essentially, I have I use the bins that Sony Vegas offers you to sort my content I use the most. So, like the more regular characters, they're more used. I have separate bins for all of their sprites, and then I have one for special uh, special graphics and then here I put my clips and things that are specific to a particular video that I'm making. I find this speeds up the process and having to always look in your file system, your my folders for the specific things I want to bring in. Um so yeah, this is uh I mean I can't really share with this with you. You have to make your own because it's only saved in my computer. But I think it's a useful tool. And then I'm gonna show you a little clip that I made uh, very recently, just actually, I recorded this video. Um, originally, I was supposed to show you how I make this, but I kind of messed it up. So I'm just going to show you the finished result uh, to kind of illustrate things. So here, I use my template again, and I added uh, in things. I have my clip, my audio clip that I've used. You see, the audio stream here is this clip, the MP3 that I made, and then I have. Uh, I've added new bins in Sony Vegas for the sprites of the two characters that I've used, or three characters that I've used in this clip. Uh, see, all I did was make a clip that was just over five seconds long. Uh, it, re it took me seven minutes to make when I was recording earlier. And the, the way you work, the way at least I do this in Sony Vegas, uh, you have separate uh, streams. You have your video streams and audio streams. You want to make sure that your transparent sprites that you download from Court Records are on streams on top of the background sprites because the background sprites have no transparency. So you wouldn't be able to see it. See, if I shift this on top of these, all, all you see in the preview is just this. If you shift this stream over, you see him, then you see her, and then you see him. Uh, it's, it's a pretty simple hierarchy, right? See, right now this this stream is on top of them, so he covers them. If he goes behind, then they are on top of him. It's 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 very simple to get the hang of things. Um, a lot of the work is basically just cutting things up, um, cutting the sprites together to make the lip syncing work, and it's a lot of practice uh, and getting used to different things, resizing the sprites so that they look properly, they look proper, etc., etc. I'm pretty sure that other people have different methods of doing things. Uh, and this is just mine. I, I really can't offer much more help uh, as far as this goes, other than just... Because, I mean, after this, it's really just learning to use Sony Vegas, just use, learning to use the program. And here's the clip that I made uh, as a tutorial, during the tutorial. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am going to destroy her. Yeah, that's it. It's a bit from Family Guy. So anyway, I think I've been recording long enough now. Um, so yeah, peace out, people. And I hope this is helpful to the few people who are interested.